let's find the radius of this circle you are welcome back to my channel first of all um let us draw a line from here to this part of the circle a straight line so if you should drop a straight line to this point and a perpendicular line to this line parallel to this particular line now let's call this a b c d and e all right now from a to e is equal to four units a to e is equal to four units remember we are asked to find the radius of the circle okay so a e is four units and c d is also equal to four units okay they are equal this side is equal to this side so if we should drop a straight line from the center across and call this point this particular point point n okay it means that cn is equal to half of four right so cn should be equal to nd which is equal to four divided by two which is equal to two units okay so it means that here is two and here is two as well now because this is the center of the circle bn must be equal to n um let's call this place f okay so bn must be equal to nf all right so bn must be equal to nf which is equal to so b c is two two plus two is four so bn is four which is equal to four now because we have nf to be equal to four and nd is just equal to two so df df should be equal to nf minus nd okay so df will be equal to nf is 4 minus nd is 2 so it simply means that df is equal to 2 so this particular point now df is also equal to 2 that is all i want to uh, um, prove here so in order to avoid having a lot of um this thing here permit me to clean this up okay all right so all right so df here is also equal to two now remember this is the center of this circle if we should extrapolate ac to complete it okay let's call this place g now you notice that ag is what a chord ag is a chord and also bf is a chord right bf is a chord all right now using chord chord theorem using chord chord theorem we can say that okay let me use the other side so using chord chord theorem using chord chord theorem we can say that ac times cg right ac multiplied by cg is equal to bc multiplied by cf bc multiplied by cf using chord chord theorem all right the theorem that states that when two chords meet at a point if this is a b and this is c d and let's say this is o this chord chord theorem is saying that co multiplied by od is equal to ao multiplied by ob 
So that is exactly what I applied here. All right, click the subscription button and turn the notification bell if this is the first time you are seeing us. All right, give us a thumbs up if you love what we are doing. Always saying at your convenience, there must be something new for you to watch. All right, so now applying the cut cut theorem, AC, our AC is six. So six multiplied by CG is unknown. We don't know the value of CG multiplied by cg is equal to bc bc is just two and cf is from here to here is four so cf is four plus two which is what six so we divide both sides by six this we remove this and we have that cg is equal to two units so here also is two. <laughs> All right. Okay. We are actually very close to our answer. Very, very close. Okay. Now, when you look at this, when you look at the diagram, let us join the center of this circle to this point. Okay. If we do that, then we have formed a right angle triangle. So this is the center. Let me draw the right angle triangle that we formed. So this is A, right angle. This is E. And this is G. Um, AE is 4. AG is 6 plus 2. This 6 plus this 2. And EG is what we don't know. All right. So let's call EG X. Now, using the Pythagorean theorem, we know that x squared should be equal to 4 squared plus 6 plus 2 is 8, 8 squared, right? So x squared should be equal to 16 plus 64. x squared should be equal to 80. So that means that x is equal to square root of what? 80. That should be our x. Now, what is square root of 80? If we should simplify this further, we are going to have um, 80. Let's do prime factorization. We have 2 times 40. We have 2 times 20, we have 2 times 10, and we have 2 times 5. So using prime factorization, we take 1, 2 out of this. We take another 1, 2 out of this. So now we have 2 times 2, which is 4. 4 root 5, right? So it means that our x is equal to 4 root 5. That is our x. All right, now, why do we need to find our x? Why do we need to find our x? The truth remains that finding our x is very important. Remember that x is the same thing as eg. So it means that eg is equal to 4 root 5. Now we are asked to find the radius of this circle. Remember that the radius that eg is the diameter right it is the diameter because it's a straight line that passes through the center of the circle and radius is equal to diameter divided by two so it simply means that our radius is four root five divided by two which will give us two root five units and that is our answer. Thank you for watching. And I wish to see you in my next video.